If you are watching this video and you think that it is not possible to get frame clients without a portfolio, you are wrong because I did it. And if you follow what I'm about to say here, you'll do it as well. So let's get right into it. Step one, make a list of 100 businesses you want to work with. And you can st start with 25 only on your first day, like sit for three, four hours and it, it's not going to take you that much, honestly, but 25 businesses that you really, really want to work with and work your way up to 100 businesses. I also recommend local businesses because it's just easier to scrap without any money. You just go to Google and you find them and you make your list on a Google Sheet, Excel, whatever. Step two, we're going to redesign two to two, three home pages from the list per day. And then step three, do a personalized omni-channel manual outreach. So we're going to see all of those steps in detail in this video. This is part of the authority accelerator series. So if you didn't watch the first video, I highly suggest you do. And I also suggest you to subscribe to not miss what's coming next. Step one, I suggest you start working with local businesses as i just said easier to sell in my opinion and they also value proximity what I, what I mean by proximity is working only with one person instead of agencies that they have to talk with one and then this person has to talk with the other one and then they have to wait and it takes too much time so they really value proximity this is my own experience as well they all said the same thing they hate working with agencies because of the uh Arab phone, which means that to talk with someone, they have to talk with five persons before. And they are willing to invest $2,000 if they already like what they see and understand the ROI. So for any business owner, they want to make more money. If your website won't generate them more revenue, they won't recommend you. So every client that I signed, Deep down, they know that their website isn't doing much for them, but it could because it's just the reality of things here. If the website is somehow better than what they already have, they will pay the $2,000. That's 1000% sure. So your job is to create a redesign that will get them more client. So it's conversion based. That's why I don't really care about much aesthetics per se, uh, but more about copy and what will actually convert the visitor. It's all about user experience here. So step two, redesign two or three home pages from the list per day. Start slow, but double down on momentum and templatize your designs as fast as possible. That was one of my mistakes because I was always starting from scratch. I don't know why, but I learned from my mistakes and I suggest you don't do the same. But if you never touched like web design in your life, then it's actually a, a good start to always do it from scratch in the first, let's say first month per se. And then you start working on processes and becoming a little bit more lazy, <laughs> doing less work, but more results. And those are redesigns that I did. So this is the first web design they had. Then I redesigned, I gave them this redesign here, got them as a client, but we did a bespoke design after I didn't use this, it was just a way for me to get their attention. And honestly, I got way, way, way better from <laughs> how I started with Metspas and how I got to Metspas because I started understanding their industry and how it's all about, what it's all about as well. And then from there, starting more redesign, started like this. This is what I sent them. And this is the project currently. Same here, but didn't got them as a client and they actually used the design I sent them. I, I told them that they could, uh, they can do it. And so they got inspired and used this kind of layout on their new website. But still, they know who I am now. And this what all matters as well. This one before, after. Got them as a client as well. This is the final website here. An amazing case study as well. 
uh, because now it is still one of my client and I'm doing ads for her. So step three now, and before, yeah, before that, just understood like, this is not all my projects, but those are all the ones that I got because of those redesigns. This is what I'm telling you, but I have so many others that didn't end up becoming clients, but still they really appreciate it. And I'm, I would say I'm in a corner of their head per se, if they will need a website in the future, then they could think of me or recommend me. So see it this way as well. You don't need to sign the client right away. Um, it's all about volume. And even if someone doesn't take your design, you can use it as a portfolio. And this is well, why this method works very well because you are practicing and then you can lend a client with what you're practicing with. And then by the end, if you don't get them as a client, it's a portfolio piece. So it's a win, 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 win situation here. You cannot lose, either get better, either sign a client or you put it as a portfolio piece for your upcoming outreach as well, which is amazing. So step three, you do a personalized omni-channel manual outreach. You send the email. This is an example. You can pause the video and read it. Um, but I did so many variation and a lot of people would say, oh, I have to, it has to be short and so on. But I don't know for me, I wrote emails even more crazier than that. And still I got responses and I got clients. So depends, I'd say it depends on the industry. Uh, and then wait one day and send a DM on Instagram and Facebook or whatever they are perhaps on TikTok, but you cannot send messages on TikTok, I think. So yeah, anyway, Instagram, Facebook, saying that you sent them a gift via email and then follow up until you get a no, straight no. If they don't answer in e your emails after the DMs, you can just send them the, the homepage directly on DM as well. And yeah, rejection is part of the game. You have to get rejected <laughs> and you could get results from the very, very beginning, which is amazing. I had prior experience to web design. So when I started doing those redesigns, I already had experience. So that I'd say play a role into why I got those clients very, very fast. I kind of knew what I was doing in terms of better design that will convert better. Because if you see here, just an example for you, no CTA. And this is saying, welcome to Clinique Derma Midi Beauty. So copywriting zero, no CTA, nothing. We don't understand. Same here, like one CTA, but we don't even understand what they're doing. We're just seeing like a woman, um, this is unique to them, but still no CTA. Same here, just one CTA and saying something very, very generic, doesn't really say much here will convert thousand percent better than this one here same again here just a picture saying like welcome at in my beauty shitty conversion here performs like at least three times better she's getting three more uh, consultation calls than she was doing before because just again design principles conversion principles that you apply to the design combined with great copywriting and you have yourself a new redesign that will bring more money. So to recap, step one, make a list of a hundred businesses you want to work with and you could start with 25 and work your way up. Step two, redesign two to two, three home pages from the list per day. The more you do, the better you get, obviously. And step three, do a personalized omni-channel manual outreach. I would add, okay, like this is practice for me in a sense, but there's great practice and wrong practice. To really have great habits, the best way to achieve that as fast as possible is to also redesign great landing pages and websites. What I mean by that is you go to a website that you like, like, that you think you can, you cannot redesign because it's, it's already that great. 
And so I will take that design and I will redesign it as well. That's how you upgrade your skills. Otherwise, you're just repeating the same thing over and over again, which is not very productive. But for this use case, redesigning those home pages, if you can make it better than what they already have, it's a win. And that's it. So what is left? This is part of my upcoming course, Framer Freelance. So you can head to framerfreelance.com to join the waitlist or just click on the first link in the description and I'll see you next time.